friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday friends, I hope that you had an absolutely amazing week. When you're watching today's video, I am in San Diego. I actually flew out yesterday afternoon, Thursday, to spend about four days with my best friend, Rachel. So I actually weighed in yesterday and filmed this video so that it would be up for you guys today. There will not be a meal prep on Monday because I will be coming home from San Diego pretty late in the day on Sunday, and Sunday is generally when I film Monday's meal prep. I will go ahead and link this last week's meal prep in the description box for you so you have three really good recipes to try out this next week, and you can check out the video if you missed it. Today we're gonna talk all about my week. I have lots to share with you. This week's a WW workshop topic, and of course I'll share my way in. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a weigh in every Friday and I upload five videos a week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer macros and calories personalized to you to help you reach your weight loss goals. I highly recommend this and one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to talk with me directly and use me as accountability, I would love to help you. Links, discounts to my favorite things in my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there for lots of motivation and support. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into my week, my way in and the WW workshop topic. First, I want to talk with you guys a little bit about my week. So in last Friday's weigh-in, I shared with you that I have officially hired a fitness coach who is pretty hardcore. I am not going to lie. I am having to take a 20 to 30 minute walk every single day, and I've been going to the gym three days a week to do strength training. Now, let me tell you that I've really, really, really been enjoying my walk every single day. I've been going first thing in the morning because that is when I like to exercise. It sets me up for success for the the day. I'm not going to go exercise to screw it up with food throughout the day. So it keeps me a little bit more on track nutrition wise. And it really just starts my day off on the right foot. I feel really good after my activity. I also have been going to the gym and following the strength training routine that my coach has given me. But let me just tell you, I love my morning walk. Love, love, love my morning walk. I've been sharing it on my Instagram and in my Facebook group. So make sure you follow me there because I share updates, post pictures every single day, but the strength training has been a big adjustment for me. I have been so sore, so sore. I mean, the sorest I have ever, ever been. So sore that it's hard for me to get up and down off the couch, out of my car, out of bed. My legs are sore, my arms are sore, my core is sore, everything is sore. So I did reach out to my coach on our weekly check-in. I now take two days in between strength training. So what I was doing was if I strength did strength training on Monday, I would take Tuesday off, go back on Wednesday. Well, now I actually take two days in between and that's actually really helped with the soreness and I'm still getting in my three days of strength training every week. I will also tell you another thing that I have noticed rather quickly and that's that my body has changed quite a bit. I feel smaller, leaner than I did prior to starting this whole regular exercise routine. And that's huge motivation for me. That definitely makes me want to stick with it. And another thing that I noticed that maybe isn't on the most positive side, kind of depending on how you look at it, is the scale has been consistently doing this since I started my workout routine. I had a conversation with my coach, and I know this being a weight loss and nutrition coach myself, that when we tear down our muscles by doing strength training, our muscles have less lactic acid, they retain fluid, they're inflamed, and so the scale isn't going to be our friend when we're starting a strength training routine. It takes sometimes several weeks for our body to get used to it and for the scale to really do what the scale should be doing. So I noticed that my weight was creeping up, had a conversation with her, and I just let it roll. I know that it's not that I'm gaining fat. I know that my body is sore and recovering, and I'm tearing down and breaking down those muscles, which is my goal, and that's why sometimes the scale isn't my friend. I also know that this is going to change, so I just roll with it and keep doing what I know is best for my body, my weight loss, and my overall health. My nutrition this week has been on point. I even packed lots of healthy snacks to take with me to San Diego, 
for the airplane and just to have on hand if I can't get to the store right away, I need to make sure that I have healthy snacks on hand that help me reach my weight loss goals. Fail to plan, plan to fail, and I do not want to gain weight on my trip to San Diego. We have lots of activity planned. We're taking hikes, we're doing walks, we're going out to dinner with one of my subscribers here. Hey, Robin. And we just have a lot of really fun, active things planned for my trip. We're also planning on going to the beach, walking on the beach, doing some shopping. Again, I will be posting snippets on my Instagram, so make sure again that you follow me over there to keep up with me on my little vacation. Before I jump into this week's weigh-in, I wanna talk with you guys about this week's WW Workshop because it's really good. And this is how to find your why or rediscover the reason you started your weight loss journey in the first place. Chances are that there's a reason you started this. There's a reason you joined WW. There's a reason you track macros and calories. There's a reason you're trying to lose weight. That's your why. That's what inspires you to start a program, stick with the program, and reach your goals. If you're new to a weight loss journey, or maybe you've lost your way a little bit and you don't really remember what your why was, here's some tips and tricks from WW on how to begin a new why or to reignite the why that got you here in the first place. Number one is to answer off the top of your head. Why do you want to get healthier? Why do you want to lose weight? I know for me, the answer to this question is super simple. I want to feel better in my body. I don't want my knees to hurt, my back to hurt. I don't want to be out of breath climbing a flight of stairs. I want to feel better and be healthier overall. Number two is to dig a little bit deeper. We went off the top of our head with our why, but let's dig a little bit deeper into why this is your why. What does this look like to you? How would your life be different? For me, how would my life be different if my knees and back didn't hurt every day? My quality of life would substantially improve. And I'll tell you that I no longer suffer from back pain, knee pain, and I can up and down and fly to stairs without being out of breath, and that is huge. Number three is to ask yourself again. Why do you wanna get healthier? Take time and really deep dive into the why. Make it specific, personal, and make sure it's positive. I want to lose weight so my knees don't hurt, so I can walk more and spend more time outside playing with my dogs, my kids, my family. And number four is make it your own. Make it your why. Say it again and again and again. Repeat your why. Every time you're struggling, every time you want to give up, repeat your why. Better yet, write it and place it somewhere where you see it every day. A visual, constant reminder of why you're doing what you're doing to get healthy. We also know that things change. As we lose weight, sometimes our why even changes. For me, I no longer have the knee pain and the back pain and the and I don't get out of breath climbing a flight of stairs. So for me, my why now has to change because that why has been fulfilled, I've done it. So as we progress through our weight loss journey, the reason why we're still moving along is going to change. My why has changed for sure. Now my goal is to be the leanest, strongest, healthiest I've ever been. Build lean muscle, be strong and healthy and reach my fitness goals. So my why has shifted from health goals to fitness goals, and that is completely okay and normal as we progress through our weight loss journey. The most important thing to take away with a why is to make sure that it is specific. Don't make your why blanket. I wanna get healthy. I wanna lose weight. Make it specific so that you can visualize it. I want to lose weight so my knees don't hurt anymore, my lower back doesn't hurt, and I'm not out of breath climbing a flight of stairs. That is much more specific than I want to get healthy. If your why isn't specific and you don't actually have a goal or a target in front of you, it's going to be a lot harder to stick with it. So no matter what your why is, follow the steps from WW and make it specific to you. I love, love, love this topic. I'm glad that WW incorporates this regularly in some type of fashion in the workshops because like I said, our why changes as we progress through our journey. So it's important to have a constant reminder of why the why is so important. Let me know down in the comments, what is your why for being on your weight loss and health journey? Now let's go ahead and jump into this week's weigh-in. Like I mentioned, the scale was doing a lot of this throughout the week due to strength training. I stepped on the scale first thing this morning. I actually fly out a little bit later this afternoon and I'm actually down in weight. I am down 0.6. That's a huge win for me. The fact that my weight has been up well over a pound the entire week and as my body has started to adjust to my new workout routine, I actually am down 0.6 on the scale today. I fully expected to come into this week's weigh-in and tell you that I gained weight and I would have been one. 
100% okay with that. I would have been 100% okay with that because I know that the weight isn't fat. It isn't something that I'm doing to actually gain weight. It's because I'm strengthening my body and I'm building muscle and I'm developing a healthy exercise and workout routine. So what? no matter what the scale says at this point, it doesn't matter. I'm already noticing huge changes in my body and that makes me so incredibly happy. Now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? Definitely let me know what your why is. I can't wait to hear what your why is for your health journey. And just let me know how you are doing down in the comments. I absolutely love hearing from you. Don't forget to come on over, follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group so you can keep up with me day to day. I'll do my best to share lots and lots of video clips and pictures with you of my trip. And we'll see what next week's weigh-in brings post vacation and the second second full week of a regular exercise routine. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not and turn your bell on because I do a weigh-in every single Friday and I do upload five days a week. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching. Highly recommend macros and calories. That's how I'm reaching my goals. That's how a lot of you are killing it on your weight loss journey. And if you would love some extra accountability, I would be happy to have a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with you as well. Links, discount, Counts to my favorite things and my Facebook group are down in that description box. Thank you for watching. Happy Friday, happy weekend, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.